While Kate was surrounded by the male mill employees who had murdered her, they also ridiculed her and heralded her as the actual future. The famous royal pair has gone on several solo engagements this month, most recently when Queen Princess Kate went to Leeds yesterday to visit the A.W. Hainsworth textile mill while Prince William stayed at home. While William travelled to New York for two days last week, Kate has been touring the United Kingdom. She had composure, a confident demeanour, and a stunning new haircut inspired by the 1970s Farrah Fawcett. Though Kate seemed to have a little fashion malfunction when her pants caught on her shoes, her emerald trouser suit nevertheless draws attention from passers-by. Burberry is a fashion specialist that made the princess's outfit. Based on her new obsession with suits, Miranda Holder thinks Catherine's position within the royal family is about to change. The textile plant workers were very excited to see the Princess of Wales, and they eagerly held out their cameras to record the occasion. The factory atop the hill was reached by Princess Catherine. There's no need to pay paparazzi or phony fans like Meghan Markle since the Prince and Princess of Wales are the future of the monarchy, and the workers' response to Catherine's engagement today speaks for itself. Everyone only turns away when marching Megas around. Everywhere Catherine travels, she always radiates beauty, and the star photographers capture her stunningly. Catherine is a media magnet herself and genuinely cares about her and her family's privacy, according to a royal fan, so she doesn't need to contact the paparazzi to snap images of her leaving a store or being seen at a restaurant. There was no need for Catherine to march bare-legged in blooming shorts in an attempt to attract attention, another person said. Meg is a skanky, face-wiggling phony who is attempting to sell her fading goods. A few days prior, I saw that the top TikTok video of the week had Catherine donning and inflating a flotation vest. In that video, she was adorable and sweet, making everyone laugh, while Meghan Markle made everyone laugh by trying to acquire a microphone. It happens at the same time as the palace announced Princess Catherine will play a major part in the next state dinner. November will see the President of South Korea make a state visit to the UK, having accepted King Charles' invitation. Yoon suk yeol and his spouse Kim ki and he will be hosted by Camilla at Buckingham Palace. Typically, during a state visit, the royal family hosts a lavish state luncheon in the palace for its guests. Throughout the first state visit of the king's reign, in which the royals received President Cyril Ramaphosa last fall in a white adorned gown, Ballroom insiders revealed that you'll witness Queen Camilla and Princess Catherine Tiara moments throughout the event. Not Tiara, and Jenny Packham is no longer in love. A sapphire and diamond tiara was worn by the late Queen Elizabeth II, while Queen Camilla looked wild in a royal blue lace evening gown by Bruce Oldfield. The late Diana, the Princess of Wales, was a regular wearer of the diamond and pearl headpiece. <laughs>